Don't worry, don't worry. She's here. Hi, it's welcome. It is the Nisha Jackson Show. I'm Rusty Humphreys. She is Nisha Jackson, and we sure appreciate you hanging out with us. Whether you're watching us on YouTube, Facebook, Roku, Apple TV, Fire TV, listening on the radio, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, all over the place. Thank you. And uh, we can tell you're telling your friends, and that makes a big difference, too, because people got to hear what she has to say. This is one of the smartest women in the world, and I know she won't admit it, but it's true. (laughs) And I know that uh, you want to stay healthy, and during this corona crisis, um, you know, we just kind of want to, twice a week now, we're doing a little bit, we're doubling up on the shows just to keep you informed on what's going on. Um, Zero sugar. What, what is that in your blackboard? Does that mean yes. something? You, yes. Is that so, we should have? You know, I, I love sugar. to talk about sugar because I actually love sugar myself. I'm not ashamed to say I come from generations of sugarholics. <laughs> generations. My mother is a major sugarholic and she gave it right to all three of us kids. So, but so was her mother and grandmother and so on and so forth. So if you have alcoholism in your family or you have sugar addicts in your family, you're more likely to be a sugar addict also. And I I always like to use this analogy. It's so, it's so gross. It's so grossly oversimplified, but I'm still going to say it. So here's the question. Here's the quiz. If you just ate dinner out, I know nobody's going out right now and eating dinner. This is just, this is just a quiz. If you went out to dinner and you, and and you had a nice dinner and you were full and you came home through your kitchen door and you walked into your kitchen and there was a plate of warm chocolate chip cookies sitting on the counter. My question to you is what would you do? And Uh, duh. I know I, in my, I I can't even tell you what my mouth is doing right now. Just thinking about the fact that there's warm chocolate chip cookies potentially on my kitchen counter. Right. So, so a non sugar sensitive person, which by the way, there's not very many people in the world that are considered non sugar sensitive, sensitive. Um, my medical assistant of about 18 years was not sugar sensitive. So she would answer that question by saying, well, if I was full, I wouldn't do anything with them. I'd maybe have one the next day or I don't know. I wouldn't do anything with it. What's wrong with her? I know. I think it's sick. <laughs> and so the moderately sugar sensitive person would say, oh, I, I actually like cookies and warm cookies are great. So I'm, I probably have one a, a, or two. A, a severely sugar sensitive person would say, I not only would have two or more cookies. I may eat the whole plate of cookies. I would eat the cookies until I probably got sick. I would go to the, they're visualizing going to the refrigerator and getting a glass of milk and eating with it. I mean, they're they're getting the whole, they can smell it. Their mouth is watering. Uh, I mean, my mouth's watering right now. So (laughs) if, if you're severely sugar sensitive, then you are more likely to have trouble in the area that I'm going to talk about today. And, and this all ties back to all the things we're trying to help you with, and that is 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 empowering your immune system, your police force, the the police force in your body is your immune system. Now that's and what I was going to ask you. We've been doing a lot of these corona shows, coronavirus shows. Why talk about sugar now? I mean, we've talked about it before. Why does that have to do with you know the coronavirus and getting sick? Yes. So we're trying to give. Rusty, you and I are trying to give people hope that they have some control over their body's ability to fight off a virus. And one of the ways that we fight off a virus is we empower our immune system police force that will scavenge up uh, destroyers, which are bacteria and viruses in our body when we come in contact with them. But they can't do it if they're sleeping And one of the ways that they go to sleep is feeding yourself sugar. So the research is really clear that you will temporarily dampen your immune system ability to respond to foreign invaders if you're eating sugar. So do we know why sugar? Do we know why sugar does that? One candy bar, one dose of uh, sugar treat, a muffin, uh, a Coke. 
one one sugary or flour because uh, flour tends to sugar immediately upon entering your mouth. Right. One processed carbohydrate or one dose of sugar, like a sugary drink um, or just some type of candy or whatever, cookie, one of those will immediately dampen the immune system's response to be able to respond. So now it's sleeping. For so, you mean, again, I'm grossly, grossly oversimplifying this, but that's sure. kind of, that's what I mean. And when it, when you reduce the body's ability to respond to the challenges that are, that you're faced with, whether it be you've, you've encountered somebody that was sneezing, coughing, uh, bacteria, something that's come into your body, it can easily fight it off, but not if it's sleeping. So some people might have one little treat a day. Okay, that might not be too bad, but if you're eating sugar and flour throughout the day, which I have to say is most Americans' diet because they're eating starch and sugar all day, if you're doing that, your immune system is sleeping a lot of the day. That's why that's why even with the coronavirus, Rusty, men who are overweight and underactive or have a history of asthma or or our smokers or anything that are really at risk for getting very sick with this virus. Wow. So, but that's because they're not taking care of themselves. So one of the ways we can do that is we can just understand what sugar does to us. It, it is as addictive as cocaine. I'm not kidding. So the research is really clear in this area that the addictive potential of sugar is the same as cocaine. It's just that sugar is uh, super socially acceptable, right? right it's right. like it's like very social and it's very 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 acceptable, and so um, and it's ubiquitous. It's like everywhere. It's in everything and it's everywhere. So it takes a lot of willpower and thought to try to avoid it. Have you and have you found a uh, amount of time staying away from sugar that you don't crave it as much or is that I mean you know kind of like uh, withdrawals from you were talking about cocaine withdrawals from drugs is there a withdrawal from sugar yes it's 72 hours so uh, again the research is pretty clear in this area that if you could not have sugar or starch so you're primarily eating uh, uh, lean lean proteins, uh, a little bit of fruit, a lot of vegetables, nuts and seeds. If you were if you were doing mostly that for three days and a lot of fluids, um, preferably uh, preferably Brand X fluids, which helps your blood sugar. By the way, if you were doing those things, then within seventy two hours at, and not and you get you have to get it out of your house because uh, if you're anything like me, you know those acai berries, you know those little chocolate berry things yes. you can get at Costco. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh! <laughs> if they are anywhere in my house, I swear to you, I'll eat the whole bag. But there's a berry so, in there, just like a chocolate covered strawberries. You it's know berries. That, that? Yeah, exactly. That's the trick they play on you is that it's so good for you and it has so many antioxidants. Well, not <laughs> if it's laden with sugar. So um, trust me, I fell for that and I I I, I almost ate the whole bag. <laughs> anyway, you, you got to get it out of your house because if you're sugar sensitive, if you said to me while you were listening to my question, if you said, oh, my gosh, I would eat several of those chocolate chip cookies, I will probably get a headache and I'd still keep eating them. Um, if you said that, then you have to know that if it's in your house, you are going to eat it and no one else in your house needs it either. Your children do not need it. So get it out of your house, give yourself 72 hours, because what you will find is you don't want the sugar cocaine so much. You will find that you're, you're able to get on top of the habit easier. And feeding yourself frequently, I, I say go on like this infant feeding program, where That's you're right. feeding yourself every couple of hours to keep your blood sugar up, so you're not plummeting your blood sugar. Uh, I also really, really, really believe in intermittent fasting. So you don't start eating till later in the morning and you right. stop eating earlier at night. So you have longer hours while you're sleeping of and, and, and awake in the morning of not eating. So all of your effort um, for metabolism and brain function is going to those areas that, that it needs to go to rather than digesting all day long. That's we want awful. most of your energy for digestion to be on a shorter number of hours, a fewer number of hours. Now you're talking about energy and you mentioned brand X and I'm having one right now. And you say it's okay to Thank have you. this because here's the, I mean, it's very sweet, isn't it? Sugary. It tastes, I mean, it tastes like a sugary drink, like a, almost. I know. And that's, that's the great thing about it is it doesn't, it's a, it's keto friendly. 
It doesn't raise the glycemic index. Hmm. It doesn't raise insulin, but it tastes sweet. So it gives you, number one, it gives you fluid intake, which is really important. Okay. But it also gives you good blood sugar balance with the nutrients that are in it. The quercetin is an excellent anti-inflammatory. It's an antiviral, which we were really hoping to get the word out on that. You can't buy those emergency packets anywhere today because everyone's bought them. They should be buying Brand X. Hello? Yes. It works just as good, if not better, for your immune system. Right. And it's, and ve- and it's very just- easy to get right now, too. I mean, you'll ship it right to the house. And if you would just put a little bit of vitamin C in with the Brand X, you would have a double whammy on your immune system because you have the ginseng, you have the ginkgo, you have the B vitamins, you have the vitamin C, and you have the quercetin, which is the ingredient that's most important for your immune system. Now, I do not have the vitamin C. How do I buy it? Because I'm going to order it as soon as we get done with the show. I just go to nishajackson.com. Yes, you can get this on nishajackson.com and the Brand X, there's a link uh, for Brand X, but the Brand X website is takebrandx.com. And those are called energy sticks, pickup sticks. Pickup sticks, very, very good. And again, I'm drinking them. Uh, I'm surprised I have any left in this box. Uh, I'm going through them pretty quick because they're, it's not like you, you feel like you're drinking anything good for you. It just tastes good and you get energy from it. Orange creamsicle. I loved those creamsicles growing up. Yeah. What, remember, do you have other flavors? Remember, or is this I lived one? with a sugar addicted mother <laughs> right. who still is. <laughs> what are the fla- is this the only flavors or another one? That's the only flavor. We we actually have a berry flavor coming out, but this is by far my favorite. Mm. I love the orange and everyone loves it. It's, it is good. It's um, very good. But anyway, I just I really wanted to just impress upon people that sugar it disarms your immune system. If you're staying at home, laying on the couch, being depressed, feeling anxious, it's probably because A, you're not exercising. B, you're eating too much sugar or junk or chips or whatever it is that you're eating that probably isn't that great for you. Uh, The average American, Rusty, you're going to love this stat, eats 152 pounds of sugar a year and 133 pounds of flour average. Man. So that's kind of disgusting when you think about it. That's I, all. <laughs> I can't remember what that actually comes out to. I think it's like three quarters of a pound of sugar a day or something off. Yeah, three quarters of a pound of sugar a day. You know what would save a lot of time is don't put it in all the stuff. Just get a bag of sugar and do and weigh three quarters of a pound and then just eat it spoon by spoon and see how that tastes. I know. I actually think that's funny you said that because if you think about it, let's say one sugary drink like a Starbucks mocha. I I, I don't know the number of sugar grams that it has, but I think it's equivalent to like 10 teaspoons of sugar. So if you took a sugar bowl and you put in 10 teaspoons of sugar into a cup and said, oh, I'm just going to have some sugar in my water or in my drink, you would never drink it. That's disgusting. Like, Why would you eat 10 teaspoons of sugar in one drink? But for some reason, when it's disguised as a mocha, you're going to drink it. Maybe that's a good idea how to do it. It's like, you know, when you were a kid, maybe you got caught smoking. I know this is a thing. You got caught smoking. So mom and dad go, okay, you're going to smoke the whole pack. You know, okay, you're going to eat that all that sugar just plain spoon by spoon. You'll never eat sugar again or you'll become a diabetic. One of the two. I know. <laughs> the other the other thing too that we know from a blood sugar standpoint. Yeah. So, okay, I'm just going to I'm going to give an I'm I'm going to I'm going to give an omission here. I this is how I deal with my sugar habit. So, I still eat sugar. But number 1, I always make sure I eat food first. So, I eat protein first if I'm going to have a little piece of chocolate, and I and I do have one piece of dark chocolate every single day. Okay. There's not a day that goes by that I don't have a piece of dark chocolate because I think it actually is good for you, and it's particularly good for you at 3 p.m. in the afternoon hmm. because it gives you a boost of dopamine, which is a I, – I call it the task master brain chemical. And the last thing you feel like doing at 3 p.m. in the afternoon is tackling tasks, yeah. right? You just feel like calling it good for the day, like your brain's turned off. So I do, I do brand X and a little square, one ounce of dark chocolate. And I'm telling you, it just, it just does it for me. Now there's certain, a certain amount of chocolate. It has to be like percentage. I forget to make it the healthy that it's good for you. Right. I rec- yeah. I recommend 72% okay. uh, or higher. Okay. And um, so that's, that's what I do. And I still allow myself to have dessert. Like we went over to some friend's house last night. 
and Michael and I decided we we're going to have dessert. So we have a little piece of cake and uh, don't eat the whole thing. Maybe just have a couple bites and then just give it to somebody else <laughs> or put it away. <laughs> or if you're going to have it, know that that's, that's it for the week or that's it for several days. Don't, don't right. have it every single day or have a bite of it. By the way, so, that's what really rich Hollywood actors do and actresses. Did you know this? Exactly. I, yeah, no. I, go to, I go to dinner with them, right? And, and um, like the Kardashians. I had dinner with the Kardashians one time. And they order like everything on the menu. It's like, how, how are you going to eat all this? And then they <laughs> eat like two bites of everything and then they're done. It's, I, it, it's super expensive, but that's how people <laughs> like that stay thin. I know. Well, I think we get in the mindset. Oh my gosh, I paid for this. I have to eat it. Well, Dang okay. Straight. How much are you going to pay to get that off your body? That's very expensive. Oh, that's a great way to think about it. It's very expensive to get fat off your body. It mm -hmm. takes a lot of work. So, and a lot of money because you're, you're having to do something to get it off. And, and a lot of people are buying these weight loss programs and, and exercise plans. Just, just, just have a little bit of it. So, but um, because I actually don't feel after all of these years of helping people lose weight and helping them understand how to get on top of their sugar habit, I really don't believe it's a good idea to say you can never have sugar because it's just not very realistic. It's not very realistic that you can have people live in America today or anywhere in the world and avoid sugar. It's just too, it's too, uh, it's Probably. too socially acceptable yeah. and it's everywhere. And so, does it also make you crave it more when you're not supposed yes. to have it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you ate protein first or a high fiber car carbohydrate, if you did that before you had sugar or you exercise before you eat sugar, the effect, it slows the release of sugar into the bloodstream. It, it, it dampens the effect of the glucose going up and then the insulin going up and then the habituation starting. So what would you say I, when you, when you say a high fiber carbohydrate, what is that? Is that like a nut? Like vegetables or high fiber carbohydrates. So having some vegetables first or like celery with cream cheese, an apple with peanut butter, um, a, a boiled egg. Um, a lot of people, by the time they eat that, they actually don't want the sugar because they feel more satisfied. It's a slower release hmm. uh, carbohydrate, but they feel more satisfied but I would not eat sugar on an empty stomach and I would not eat sugar throughout the day. If you, if you, I call it Coke out. If you Coke out <laughs> with sugar throughout the day, your, your immune system is, has been arrested. Your immune system is not going to work very well for you. Mm. Um, I, and you are going to get sick easier and, 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 uh, there's just no reason for it. You, you, you need to give your immune system what it needs to fight all of the free radicals and um, the invaders that are coming into our system. And this is not just about Corona. This is about how you should live because it's going to be something else next. And uh, our world is not getting healthier. It's getting sicker. And so we have to know what we can do to protect ourselves. All, right, all great suggestions. Um, one last thing. Would Brand X help me uh, not have those sugar cravings? Well, first of all, it tastes really good, and I think it should replace a mocha. So have a Brand X instead of having a mocha. Number one, it's cheaper. Okay. Number two, it's way better for you. Number three, it will power up your immune system. And number four, it actually tastes good and will help your sugar cravings. It will help balance out your glucose right. so that you will want it less. Um, so that that's what I would recommend. So please, yeah, yeah, do yourself a favor, and that is a uh, go-to. Uh, takebrandx.com. That's takebrandx.com to get your Brand X pickup stick. The other thing we do suggest is the vitamin C that you can get at nishajackson.com uh, and mix those two, and it's really, really going to help your immune system. Not eating that sugar is going to help the immune system, and those are the th oh, and the vitamin D three too. I'm out of that stuff. Uh, tell me why is that one important? Because and I just learned this from you. Vitamin D is not a vitamin. Vitamin D is fat soluble and vitamin D is really important for your immune system because they've done head to head studies uh, with vitamin D and the flu shot. And guess what? Vitamin D wins. There is a reason why we have the flu in the winter.
when we have less sun in most places. Wow. So, <clears throat> and people don't absorb vitamin D as well through the skin as they used to, probably because of the environmental changes. So vitamin D is really important for your immune system. And I would recommend that you take uh, somewhere above 3,000 uh, international units a day of vitamin D. You can be blood tested for it, which I think you should be at mm -hmm. some point. Um, most of my patients take 5,000 international units. I take five to 10. Um, yeah, you it, suggested that I double mine to 10 right, during yes. this time of the year, right? Yes. If you want your immune system up, these two, along with the Brand X, are the uh, supplements that help boost your immune system and uh, far better than what you can buy in uh, most other supplements. So, But you have to take enough of it. People are so confused, Rusty, about oh, <clears throat> I'm just going to get some vitamin D. I can't even tell you how many people say this. Oh, I just went and got some vitamin D because I want to raise my immune system. I'm like, okay, let me look at that vitamin D. And it's like 800 international units. Okay, that ain't going to do anything for you. I promise that will not help you. Okay. So you, you have to get your level up to 60. The research is really clear. 40 is the absolute minimum. 60 is more optimal. In order to get it to 60, my experience in 28 years of seeing patients and testing these levels, my experience is you're going to need something closer to 5,000, something above three for most people. Right. And after you've been taking it for a while, do have your blood levels checked to see where you're at. We, we try not to let it go above 100. Okay. Um, but, but 60 to 80 is kind of the sweet spot on your blood level for vitamin D but you got to take enough to get it there, and it has to be a good enough brand. And that's the other thing. We're almost out of time here, but you want to get – there's so many junk brands out there. Uh, Nisha has personally uh, tested these particular ones, and so much so she's you know, put her company name on them. So do yourself a favor. Go to nishajackson.com and pick up your vitamin D and your vitamin C and your – Pickup sticks. Pick up your it's pickup sticks. It is, it's literally the trifecta. Those three are really all you need right now, from a, just from an immune system standpoint. The trifecta Plus, of health. The trifecta of health. All right. Uh, we empower, sure empower. Empower your police force. Your <laughs> your your immune system police force needs to be geared up. Amen, sister. All right. Thank you for being here. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit, click the the subscribe button on YouTube right there in the corner, or. Subscribe if you're on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, if you're watching on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, wherever you're finding the show, Facebook, uh, click that like button and make sure you tell your friends, okay? Uh, doing two shows a week during the corona crisis. And we'll catch Cheers. you next time. I'm Rusty Emery. She is Nisha Jackson. And this is the Nisha Jackson Show.